hi everyone and welcome to another video on my channel so in this video i am going to show you guys how to install and use cc magic so cc magic is a program for the sims 3 that merges and organizes your cc i highly highly recommend this program it has helped my game so so much and i definitely prefer it over um you know merging my cc with s3pe i've had like bad experiences with s3pe because some of my cc always just disappeared it was really strange and that doesn't happen with cc magic i love this program so much okay <laughs> it just helps so much with lag and everything it is amazing something i want to mention is that you can't use any sims 3 pack files cc magic is only for package files and the program basically overrides your downloads folder where all your sims 3 pack files are if you you know install those so i did make a video on how to convert sims 3 pack files to packages i will leave a link to that video in the description down below so if you still have sims 3 pack files and you don't know how to convert them please go watch that video first in that video i show you guys how to convert cc you know clothing build by objects and sims lots and worlds you can convert all of those things to package files so please make sure to watch that video first because if you're going to use cc magic you don't want to install any sims 3 pack files so those were the couple of important things i wanted to mention first now we're going to head to this website mod the sim so this is cc magic we are going to download this one cc magic setup so this is the install program you are going to download that and then you're going to extract the file and then you're going to click on this you're going to click this file so then it is going to install i don't know if obs is going to record this but no i think i have a black screen or oh no there we go <laughs> you're going to click next and you're going to install it on whichever drive you want to install it on you're going to click yes and click start so it has been successfully installed nice you're going to exit out of this then you're just going to look for cc magic on your computer so there it is so i will just attach this to my task bar so this is cc magic this is what it looks like this is what it looks like when it's completely empty so yeah that is how you install cc magic now i'm going to show you guys how to install cc with this program so i downloaded a couple of hairs by rollo rolls now you're going to head to documents electronic arts the sims 3 downloads so i said that cc magic basically overrides this downloads folder because you're going to use this folder to install your cc so what you will want to do is drag these files into the downloads folder but yeah this is why i said that you shouldn't have any sims 3 pack files because those files go into this folder so this folder should be completely empty except for these three files because these come with cc magic so yeah i don't know what happens when you have sims 3 pack files in here and you use cc magic i have never done that before but i just don't recommend it i only recommend using cc magic with just package files so you have imported your cc in here then you're going to click on refresh so now all of these files are in cc magic they disappeared over here and they're in cc magic now so that is great so all newly installed items will be under default so this is where you will find cc that you just imported i guess or installed <laughs> 
And under legacy, you will find stuff that is in your mods folder. I recently got a new PC, so I don't have anything in my mods folder yet because I still have to re-download all of my CCs. So there's nothing here for me, but you're basically never going to use the legacy thing in CC Magic. So you don't have to worry about that. But now you're going to click on add this is how you add new sets so this is how you're going to organize your cc so i'm going to rename this and i will do cas and then you're going to click on cas and click add again so i'm going to call this new set rollo rolls hairs so this is basically how you organize your CC. When I click on default again and I click add, we will have a new set and I will call this build by step, for example. So this is a great way to organize your CC. Basically works like, you know, adding different folders to your mods folder. And under CAS, you can add other stuff like eyebrows, you know, um, makeup, skin details, or accessories, stuff like that. You know, you can add all of that stuff and organize it. Now we're going to click on default. Again, you're going to click on the first one, then you're going to, you're going to click it and hold it. Press control A. You're still going to hold your mouse button and the control A button. Then you're going to drag it to Rolo Rolls hairs. Now all of these files are in here. So that is basically how you do it. When you see this icon, it means a rebuild is required. So you're going to click on a rebuild, then it's going to merge. Then you go to configurations and you have to make sure that everything is underneath enabled. So every time you add a new set, you have to enable it in here. I still forget to do that sometimes. So yeah, just make sure that you put everything underneath enabled. But yeah, if you don't want certain items in your game anymore, you can just disable them so you don't have to delete them, but then they won't show up in your game anymore. You can also just delete them, of course. So if you, for example, don't want this hairstyle anymore, then you can just click delete and then you have to rebuild again. So yeah, it is super, super easy and I will just show you guys where CC Magic is on your computer. So it is under Documents, Electronic Arts. So this is CC Magic and all the individual CC that you installed will still be in here. So if you go to Content and Packages, you will see that all the individual files are in here. But if you want to delete something, you shouldn't just delete it, you know, from here. You should delete it in CC Magic. But yeah, if you're trying to like find a certain file, then you can just look for it in here. So this is like a backup of LDCC that you installed through CC Magic. So yeah, that was basically all I wanted to say about CC Magic. It is actually really, really easy to use. So the only things you shouldn't install through CC Magic are, you know, game mods like NROS or any other type of mod and sliders. So you just have to put those in your mods folder. Yeah, I really hope that this video was useful. If you still have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. So yes, thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so, so much. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!